Alright y'all, y'all know what time it is. Into the garage we go. Let me show you what we got. Cracking the day, baby. So uh, after I did the uh, did the lights or whatever on the bike, <clears throat> I did say that I was, you know, just curious because of the fluid in the bike when I had it, when I got it and I had an issue. So now I'm going to I wanna check out the brakes. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest with you though. I already bought the brakes, so I was just gonna change them like on some GP shit. Because not only, I mean, it's it's content. Either way. Content either way, first time. Like I said, and then I have like a, a little bit of way of knowing which way that I got. So I'm pretty sure it's just probably got stock ones on there. But these are the EDC Double H centered. One thing you will notice is like them shits is already like very, very, it's not like pads that you buy. Well, I guess maybe it is. It's just not, it's not a whole lot of pad on there. Like, I guess maybe it doesn't require as much. But I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at the ones that's on there. Um, so this video might not even happen. Let me look. Let me see if I can see the pads that's on here on the bike and then I'll cut y'all back on. As you can already see, man, like the, from taking off this cover, I mean, them things is, that was covered, covered in brake, brake dust. Okay, now let me see if I can see the pads. All right, so. If you look, if you look right here, there's the caliper. And if you look right up in there, it's really, I mean, they really not bad. Like, if I'm being 100% honest. So you can see that, like that's, that's damn near what they come with from the factory. So they, they're not bad. And that's on both sides. All right, so I wanna get a better light so I can show y'all. So you can see right there, right? But them pads is like, damn, they're brand new, bro. Compared to, compared to what comes out the box. Cause you can, you can see it, right? You can see the backing. You can see, <clears throat> you can see the difference between the backing material. Yeah, you can see the difference between the bag of material and the actual, you see the groove. It's not even low, it's not even low. And that's on both sides, so I am going, I'm gonna hold off on that. <clears throat> and it's crazy, bro, because I bought everything. <laughs> I brought everything. Anyway, I guess I could at least show you what I 
thought, right? All right, so. I'll show you what I bought for it. So I bought this brush, wheel and rim wand for when I clean up the bike and just make it easier to get into them crevices and stuff. So I bought this one and I also bought this wheel brush. So two different options. Uh, obviously I bought the centered uh, brake pads or like I said, all the way around, all the way around, front and back. I want to say that it was like 30 bucks a piece on Amazon. So you, you're looking at about hundred dollars worth of brakes, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll have them when it's time. Part number FA. FA409HH. So, yeah, keep that in mind. FAF409HH. FA At least that's what they said on the website. FAF409HH FA was a part number. So, uh, show you what else I bought. So this wasn't for, this was for something else. <clears throat> Tire something. So I went and I, I bought me the 10 millimeter, the 12 spline or 12, 12 point. 12 point socket, 10 millimeter, which is what you're gonna need. what you're gonna need to take those off and then I even bought the five millimeter because I know I didn't have one uh, the five millimeter hex to be able to take out the pin which we have there so now I have everything I need I just don't need to do it because like I said man like if you look if you look at how much is there, I guess it's really not much difference. <clears throat> it's, it's really not. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just, like I said, I'm gonna just hold off on changing them. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought I was gonna do a brake changing video for you, but I mean, it is, it honestly, it's, it's just not time. Just not time. Could I just change them to change them for the upgrade? Yeah, possibly, because those are probably the original Harley pads that are on there. Uh, but uh, I think I'm gonna just ride them. You know, I'll ride them until it's time and then I'll switch them over. So, that's how that's gonna end. I'm sorry, man, I was, I was ready. Like, I, I was committed. I had everything, 10 millimeter, five millimeter, brake pads. Like, I was, I was there. I was there. Um, not today, though. Not today, another time, another channel. I'm not gonna send the pads back <clears throat> or anything like that. I'll just have them for when it is time to do the brakes and we'll be good to go. So, I do apologize for getting your hopes up. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of shattered. And I bet you're there like, why don't you just change them anyway? Nah, I, because the old, then the old pads just do no, I mean, I paid for them in a sense. I'm pay, I pay or I am paying for them still. So, um, we ain't gonna waste them. We will not waste it and we'll keep going. So, yeah. There's that. There's that. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it a little bit. 
I'm trying to think of like what else I could possibly. Cause I mean, if I don't need a, if I don't need a, if I don't need brakes right now, then maybe I could just get a tire. Or, I don't know. I've been trying to think proactively on what I can do for the bike, uh, just to make sure you know everything is on the up and up. Um, ha! I think that's what I'm gonna do with this video. Be right back. So, <clears throat> I decided I was gonna change this video into something totally different. <clears throat> Being that I'm not doing the brake pads and the brake pads was a form of just making sure that my bike was functioning the way that it needed to. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much change this video into uh, a T-Clocks, T-Clocks video. If, do you know what T-Clocks means? If you don't know what T-Clocks means, it's probably been a while. You know, a lot of us guys have been riding for a while. You get out of habit, haven't thought about T-Clocks. Some of T-Clocks, I will admit, is common sense. But common sense is not so common, no is it? Um, so let's just go over the T-Clocks inspection checklist that I have here. So uh, tires and wheels is what the T stands for. Uh, so your tires, you want to check the condition of them, make sure the tread depth, the wear, the weathering, evenly seated bulges or uh, embedded objects are not there. You want to also check your air pressure, check when cold, adjust to the load, whether there's one up, two up, et cetera, et cetera. You want to check your wheels, spokes, if they're bent, broken, mission tension, cast wheels, if they're, there are cracks and or dents, uh, if the rim is out of round, uh, spin the wheel index against stationary pointer. Now, do you do this every time you ride? Probably not. Is it good to, like, I don't know, every, do you need to do it every time you ride? Probably so, because if something's out of whack, you wanna catch it before it catches you. So, uh, as far as bearings, uh, grab the top and the bottom of the tire and the flags, no free play, click between the hub and the axle. Uh, seals, uh, making sure that none are cracked, cut or torn, no excessive grease is what you wanna be looking for. Uh, the brakes, make sure that each brake alone keeps the bike from rolling, check the front and the rear. Uh, check the pads and the disc for wear, which technically is what we just did. Uh, when we were looking to see if we even needed to uh, replace the brakes on our bike. So, uh, handlebars, bars are straight, turn freely, hand grips and bars and bar ends are secure. Uh, you want to check your levels and your pedals. So the C and T clocks is for control. So levers and pedals, handlebars, cables, hoses, and throttle. Uh, making sure that no cables are kinked spring, make sure that they're, they're routed the way that's supposed to be routed. Uh, make sure that the throttle moves freely. I'm pretty sure everybody does this because they rev up their bike after they started like it needs it. Me, myself included. So just to make sure that it revs like a motorcycle, make sure it still goes room room like a motorcycle. You wanna check for that. Um, lights and electrics is what the L is for. So that's gonna be your battery, um, your headlamp, tail lamp, brake lamp, turn signals, switches, mirrors, lenses, and reflectors, and wiring. Uh, so if you turn the bike on and it cranks, <clears throat> then I mean, that kinda lets you know that your battery's good to a certain extent. Uh, I would recommend putting it on a tender if you don't ride, well, when you're not riding it, I will put it on the tender. Uh, headlamp, which is gonna be your, your headlight pretty much. It comes on when the bike comes on, make sure that your tail lamp uh, and your brake lamp is on the back of the bike work so that the people behind you can see when you're about to stop. The last thing you want is somebody running into the back of you. Make sure that you know your switches work, high beam, low beam, turn signal, hazard, etc. cetera. Um, 
make sure that your mirrors are adjusted. Uh, make sure there's no cracks or anything in them. Lenses and reflectors. Uh, my bike doesn't have any. I know stock they come with them, but you know, a lot of people get rid of the ones on the front forks. So yeah, any other reflectors that you may have, make sure that they're working. Cause you want to be as visible as possible. Uh, and then the wiring, frame, chafing, insulation, that's usually not something that is always going to happen. Or, I mean, this is just going to happen. But as, as long as you make sure that, you know, everything is routed the way it's supposed to be, you should be good. Uh, oils and other fluids, which is what the O is for. Uh, so your engine oil, your gear oil, your hydraulic fluid for your brakes, clutch, reservoir, coolant, which doesn't apply to this bike. Fuel, of course. Uh, and then you want to make sure that that's just leaking. Uh, your engine oil is not leaking, gear oil shaft dry gear oil if it's shaft driven uh hydraulic fluid uh for your hoses master cylinders calipers on this bike specifically we do have hydraulic clutch and hydraulic brakes so uh, and then fuel make sure that you know if it's not leaking fuel um it's not really an issue with fuel injected bikes as far as i know uh, and then the frame, you want to make sure that the steering head bearing um, is no, it doesn't get caught when you go to turn it, it turns freely and does everything like that. Um, I think that's it, man. Uh, if you want to print off a, a copy of the T-Clocks inspection checklist, man, you can get it from the MSF online. Uh, I recommend, you know, just keeping a copy. That way, I mean, you don't have to go off. I mean, it would probably be recommended that you go all the way through and make sure that everything is good. At least, you know, beginning of the season. You know what I'm saying? That's my thought. All right, I apologize. I had to shrink it down so that the whole thing would fit on here. This one stopped at chassis. This one here stopped the chassis, but there's a little bit more to go. So chassis, so you're checking the frame, the suspension, front forks, uh, smooth travel, air pressure dampening, rear shocks, smooth travel, uh, equal preload, chain or belt, tension, check at the tightest point, lubrication, uh, sprockets, if you got that on the Harleys, you had the belt. Uh, and then you check your stands. So T is for tires and wheels, C is for controls, L is for light and electric, O is for oil and other fluids, C is for chassis, and S is for stand. Whether it's a center stand or a side stand, just making sure that it does what it's supposed to do. This one says side stand, cracks, bent, safely, safety cutout switch or pad equipped, which I don't believe that the Harley has. I'm pretty sure you can start that shit in gear. Hold on. So you can't start it Unless the clutch is. Now, if the clutch is pulled in, then yeah, that's a different story. But it will start in a juke. And what better opportunity to show you my light?
like so. y'all enjoyed the video make sure <clears throat> i hope y'all enjoyed the video why is this glare hope y'all enjoyed the video uh t clocks is real man t clocks to save your life so make those preventative checks and be safe out there on the road later